Hey, this is Kenneth Wong, CDI editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Usually, to run Autodesk Revit, and that's a 3D modeling program for architecture projects, you'd need a fairly powerful workstation equipped with graphics accelerators, GPUs. But app streaming is one of the ways you might overcome the hardware need. Now, Otoy is the company that provides cloud-hosted graphic solutions. But recently, the company launched a app streaming platform. This is what lets you use an application like Autodesk Revit from a browser, from a lightweight or inexpensive consumer machine. Let me show you. I'm now logging into x.io. That's the name of the platform that Otoy just launched for streaming apps. I'm now launching into x.io to stream Autodesk Revit. And that means I don't have Revit installed on my personal machine. In fact, I don't have a machine that meets the recommended requirements for running Autodesk Revit. I'm remotely running a program, in this case Autodesk Revit, installed on a much more powerful server on Otoy's infrastructure. So it feels more rather like borrowing a copy of Revit to use it online for the duration I need to do something. Now here then is me inside Autodesk Revit's program interface, delivered to me over the web in the same way Netflix would deliver movies to me from a browser. Now when you're using a program remotely, the client device connection speed to the host device, in this case my home computer's connection to Otoy's server, is critical. If that speed is slow, my interaction with a 3D model would feel awkward. Here I'm rotating a fairly large architecture model, as you can see. This feels quite close, if not identical, to the experience of using the software on a desktop machine. In drawing things from scratch inside Revit, there is a slight lag time, barely noticeable, between my mouse clicks and the system response. So, if I'm extruding walls, for example, sometimes it feels like it takes a fraction of a second for the system to catch up, but it's not to the extent where it interferes with my work indirectively with the model. Normally when you're running a program like Revit on your own workstation and you start a rendering session, the burden is on your machine CPU and GPUs to do the number crunching and produce that crisp photorealistic image. Here, because I'm using a virtual machine in the cloud, I'm rendering with the computing resources on the server's side. My own machine's processors, they remain free for me to do whatever I want to do. Revit is the architecture equivalent of a program like Autodesk Inventor or AutoCAD or SolidWorks in a way that it handles parametric edits and preserves geometry relationships between objects like windows, walls and doors. It reflects how features get edited in mechanical modeling programs that I just named. So this is a fairly good illustration of what it feels like to stream, for example, SolidWorks or Inventor. For engineers who are dedicated to full-time design work, a local workstation may still be the ideal hardware. However, Otoy's app streaming and other remote access virtual desktops open up a new area. Maybe for second-tier design engineers who periodically need to do heavy design works but don't need to do it full-time, these cloud-hosted machines offer a way to get the hardware they need on demand when they need it. For Desktop Engineering Magazine, this is Kenneth Wong streaming his greetings to you from Otoy.